All right, well, here we go. An eerily quiet August is coming to an end in the Atlantic Basin. The first signs, though, of life is appearing since Hurricane Ernesto happened a couple weeks ago. We're watching the potential for a tropical disturbance to form as early as this weekend or maybe Monday or Tuesday of next week. And it'll be somewhere around the Caribbean. So here's what we're watching. It's going to be this disturbed weather right here. You can see a bunch of cloud cover right here. There's absolutely zero organization with this right now. It's just a cluster of storms. It's a tropical wave that hopped off that African coastline a couple days ago. It is moving over to the west, but it's still ensconced firmly within that Sahara dust layer. So that's dry, it's windy, it's warm, and it makes thunderstorms not able to produce themselves, which is great. But give it some time. If it could duck a little farther south and get underneath that Saharan dust layer, there is room to grow and organize just a little bit. But again, this is within the next seven days. We're talking about Saturday, Sunday, or Monday of this coming week. So that's what we're watching. And it is this right region coming off the ITCZ. It's the, we got these bacon waves right there, right? It looks like bacon. Those are the tropical waves that we put on our map. And these are the ones that we've been following for the last couple of days. It is underneath that Saharan dust for the most part. It's on top of it. But let me show you a way it goes right here with our exclusive Fox weather model. And it doesn't do much development. You can see what we're watching. We're trying to see if something pops up around here or so. Our model doesn't have it on Saturday, maybe Sunday or Monday. We don't go out that far at this point. There's a possibility we could see a disturbance right there, and it's only a 20% shot. And again, right now, it is all inside that Saharan dust. All this brown right there is a thick layer of Saharan dust. It's right out there off the coastline, kind of thinning out just a bit when it gets to the lower part of the tropical Atlantic, but it's still out there. Where does that Saharan dust go? Well, it keeps on chugging along. And this is late in the season to see this much dust peeling off the African coast. And you can see this bite right here. This is going to be on Tuesday of next week. So seven days from today, a new round of dust gets out there. And obviously, that is some good news. The longer that dust sticks around, the better chance of seeing a slower part of the hurricane season at that time period. So we're getting up there to the peak of the season, which is September 10th. And there's nothing really out there right now that we're following, which is great news. So here's what's going on. We've got some hostile factors in the East Atlantic. This time of year, we watch for the African waves to hop off the coast, go right through the tropical Atlantic, and then form into a hurricane, tropical storm, that kind of thing. But all so far... These storms have been a little farther north with their track moving off. This is the usual track line you would see this time of year, a little farther down to the south. But since it's going right a little farther north, it's hopping directly into that Saharan dust and some colder water temperatures also. With that wind coming in, we've got some upwelling coming in right here. So you've got some cooler water temperatures all right around there, below 70 degrees at some spots. So we need 80 degrees or more to see these hurricanes begin to develop and strengthen. That's not happening, but we also have some cooler air down to the south, which, which is happening here in Atlantic Nina. Looks like it's developing also, which is a smaller scale, but the colder water across the equatorial Atlantic. So this is something we've been following.